this woman was pronounced dead by the EMS, but found alive at James Cole Funeral Home. She was found breathing. I don't know if the eyes were open or none of that. I just know they found her breathing. So stay with me and we're gonna talk about it. The top dog, I know these niggas all on my position. Cause I'm putting up numbers like a statistician. The king back like LeBron when he was trying to Cleveland. Time to spread the back around, make sure we all eat it. Hurt some niggas, think they got us, guess we all eat it. But first, a woman declared dead by paramedics and brought to a funeral home, but she was still alive. Local 4 has learned Southfield paramedics found her unresponsive. But when she was brought to a Detroit funeral home, workers there say she was still breathing. Now she's back in the hospital. Larry Spruill is live at the James H. Cole funeral home on Detroit's west side with details. Larry? Well, Steve and Sandra, this story is really hard to believe, but here's what we know. Earlier today, a Southfield woman was declared dead by Southfield Fire and Emergency Crews. Later on today, she was brought here to the Cole Funeral Home, and tonight, she's alive. Let's go through the details. Sunday night, Local 4 is learning what happened to a 20-year-old woman inside a Southfield home. Local 4 sources tell us the woman was in cardiac arrest inside her home in Southfield. The family calls 911. Southfield Fire responds. Southfield Fire sent me this statement. It says, in part, at 7.34 a.m. on August 23rd, Southfield Fire Department paramedics arrived at a home in Southfield on a call for an unresponsive female. When paramedics arrived, they found a 20-year-old who was not breathing. The paramedics performed CPR and other life-reviving methods for 30 minutes. Given medical readings and the condition of the patient, it was determined at that time that she did not have signs of life. Sources with knowledge of this investigation tell us Southfield police allegedly saw her move and breathe. They called the fire crews back, but fire crews claimed those were the side effects of the medication given to her. Several sources say the female was picked up and transported to James H. Cole Funeral Home in Detroit on Schaefer between 1130 and noon on Sunday. That's when employees at the funeral home claimed that she was still breathing. They called EMS. Emergency crews found her very much alive and drove her to the hospital. And Southfield Fire continued on with that statement. It says also that because there was no indication of foul play as per standard operating procedure, the Oakland County Medical Examiner's Office was contacted and given the medical data. The patient was again determined to have expired and the body was released directly to the family to make arrangements with the funeral home of their choosing. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you the latest. We are live on the Choice West Side tonight. Larry Spruill. Local four. All right. Thank you, Larry. I don't find that to be abnormal or strange. Things happen. It's just as simple as that. And this young lady probably is meant to live. We don't know what's going to be the outcome, but the point was she was found breathing at the funeral home. We don't know why she was found unresponsive at home, but we do know now she is breathing. So that doesn't surprise me. Uh, people sit up and say they miracles do happen but everybody acts in shock when one seemingly appears to be a miracle i don't know if this is a miracle but i do feel like if she makes it out of this she was meant to live you know what i'm saying it wasn't her time maybe she left her body for a brief period and she said she wanted to come back she's got more work to do who knows we don't know because we didn't transcend with her we didn't go to that other realm briefly with her so it could be a litany of things going on in the background, but if she does continue to breathe and live on, thank God for that. If you can't get the proper vital signs or there was something going on and it wasn't apparent, maybe she was in a coma briefly or whatever, it can happen. Things happen. I mean, no one's perfect. So diagnosis is not going to be perfect. This is why they have all type of insurance because mistakes will happen. There's never going to be 100% on everything. Now, we do know some of these hospitals, because I used to work with one, would take a nigga out. I ain't lying. <laughs> Listen, I, if you ask me, you know, I know y'all hate conspiracy theorists, but I, I, I think these hospitals be in on the on the harvesting and I think, I don't you know, I can't prove it. I'm not saying this fact, it's just a thought, that's all. But in this case, 
I hope she makes it and I hope everything's all right. I know the family's hopeful. God bless them and God bless her. All right, y'all. Make sure you like the video. If you want to keep up with me, check me out on RockyRoadMedia.com. That's how you're going to get all of my content, info, events. You'll be able to find me on different social media platforms. There are icons in the top right corner if you're looking on your desktop. That's going to take you to the social media website of your choice if you're looking for me on another platform. I'm going to check y'all next time.